Alrighty, oh, welcome to the other side of Threshold. This will be Mechanism lever, mm-hmm. Steel bar with the handle at one end, a carving at the other. I wouldn't necessarily call that a handle, but... Okay, I, it must belong to one of the mechanisms. Pretty sure it does. It wasn't there... Somewhere we could use. Maybe we can use it here. Mechanism, yes, right. Um, no, uh, sometimes it's a bit buggy. I can't click on it properly. You're seeing this? I can. And here I can click on it? That's a bit buggy. What Prothean behavior minutes from a council meeting? Guided by the purpose of knowing our enemies, a council was formed of five axiomites. Ah, with different specializations and one inevitable to keep a record of the discussion. It was decided to waive Axis's official recommendation to avoid reflection on the actions of Protheans for the duration of this meeting. Okay, waiving official recommendations is usually not a good idea. Um, except if you're a criminal. The agenda was to discern the impetus of actions by a group of Protheans captured while performing functions of unknown purpose in the proximity of Axis. The Prothean actions consisted of hissing in various pitches, <laughs> a circular movement of several Prothean units around a rock, clockwise and counterclockwise, rock composition and properties standard. One of the Prothean units struck its head against the rock Followed by the demise of said unit. Are Prothean humans? Are they talking about cavemen? Another Prothean unit struck its head against the rock, followed by the demise of said unit. What? What? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. A third Prothean unit struck its head against the rock, and the action was stopped by the capture of the remaining Protheans by the dispatched Axis patrol. The Axomites proposed the following explanations for the Prothean behavior. The rock that caused the demise of the two Protheans possesses unusual properties. The hypothesis was rejected after a triple analysis of the rock revealed no unusual properties. The Protheans were aiming to distract the patrol from another location where a different group of Protheans was preparing a sabotage operation against Axis. The hypothesis was rejected due to no other Prothean incursions to Axis being reported. The Protheans were preparing an unidentified sabotage operation, but decided to terminate their existence after the attempt failed. The hypothesis was rejected because attacking a rock with one's head does not appear to be an effective way to terminate one's existence. I mean, considering that demise, demise, it, it, it seems to be pretty effective. Exposure to Axis affected the minds of the Protheans, confusing them. The hypothesis was rejected due to the remaining Protheans showing no signs of lunacy. The Protheans were testing the durability of their skulls. The hypothesis was rejected due to lack of logic. Lack of logic. Lack of logic. Lack of logic. <laughs> At this point, the council meeting was adjourned due to one of the Axomites losing the ability to function and another vanishing without a word, their current whereabouts unknown. Oh, well, that's a problem. One of the Axomites and another two. But not inevitable, so they are, these are not the two Axomites and one inevitable. Okay, so at least they are not talking about our dude. 
Hmm. Well, before we do any levers, let's see what's... Okay, there's another platform. Okay, so A, B, C. That sounds interesting. Um, loot, what do we have here? Mm, caustic mold. We don't need mold. Is there another? Oh, that's another platform. Okay. Should we continue? Hmm. Let's, I'm going to save. I want to advance this map and then everything changes and then I'm like, ah, maybe we should have done it beforehand. Okay. Uh, let's see what's here. Oh, lever. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's push the button. Okay, so maybe that's where we have to go now. Let's save again and go down. I do what I must. I'm gone. Retreat. Close ranks. Paying no heed to the danger, driven only by the desire to uncover the truth, the Excess explores the other side of Threshold. There he meets the Protheans, an inscrutable species of out outsiders born from and embodying the primordial chaos of the Maelstrom. Mm -hmm. But what does the Excess know of Protheans? Can he tell what the Protheans are doing here? Succeeded at no You recall that Protheans are snake like creatures, the primordial inhabitants of the Maelstrom, and the plane of absolute chaos. And their actions defy logic. Yes? I know that Protheans are creatures of absolute chaos, their actions cannot be explained. Protheans are creatures of. Oh. It is theorized that Protheans' actions are driven exclusively by transient impulses and momentary desires. Is there any logic to the Protheans? Is there any logic to creatures that defy logic? The voice is overtaken by a fit of laughter that cuts off as quickly as it begins. <laughs> Can, a <cre> <laughs> what? Can a creature defy logic but do something that has a, a logical explanation? But what if the Protheans are not banging their heads against the stone walls of this cursed world for no reason? This is what the Excess ponders as he examines the keystone which the Protheans so eagerly smashed with their skulls of the keystone. Perhaps if the Excess takes a run up and bashes his head on the keystone in this room, he will discover some secret knowledge of truth that explains everything. Uh, what? What? Are you seriously telling me to bang my head against a rock? 
The voice only laughs in response. Our angel mythic path. Wield your mythic power against the keystone. Mwah. I have a better idea. The room shakes from the impact. The keystone explodes into tiny fragments as though it has been struck by an invisible hammer. The vibration spreads to the floor and walls. You see cracks already beginning to sake, snake across them. Okay. Oh. I don't want to return. Hello? Oh dear. Yes, these will give us quests. Who are they? Whoa, are they devils? L whoa, 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 whoa. Well, they looked very interesting. I mean, we've only seen the abyss. Um, well, that was kind of disturbing. What did we do? Long and thorny has been the excess's path, but still it has led him to Silmeshnik. Now is the time to prostrate yourself in a show of servility. The snake-like creature we name Silmeshnik. Shouldn't it be Silameshnik? But it said Silashmek. No, Silmeshnik. Do you understand what you have just seen? <laughs> Does the excess understand? Does his mind even have the capacity to understand? <laughs> Does ours? So is he the personification or it, they, the personification of chaos? Who are you? What are you? We are Simeshnik. Primordial proteans. But don't you know that it is rude to answer a question with a question? We asked you first. Yeah, I'm not going to call them proteans. That just sounds... Ugh, yeah, proteans. That sounds cool. <clears throat> I think I'm beginning to understand. This world is not the Galarian you have come to know so well. This is just a simulacrum of Galarian on Axis, so thoughtfully created by Valmalos, just for you. This is an atemporal prison for dangerous criminals who have flouted the laws of sorcery, and it is also a repository of magical artifacts whose mere existence could tear apart the universe. You are one such artifact. You are the excess mythic power that Volmalos extracted from the commander of the Fifth Crusade just before his decisive battle in Threshold. You are an artificial creation, a magical golem. Living the life of another. Dig around in that person's memories, Excess. Do you remember the Grey Garrison? Do you recall the power that gripped the then future commander? And where that power went after? It waned and vanished, dissipating like mist before the dawn. Old Valmalos took it from the commander at Threshold. Plucked it right out of time, so that even the memory of its existence ceased to exist. Why so quiet, Excess? Has our revelation shocked you that much? <laughs> Lose your mind if you wish, but don't even think of dying from shock. I need you alive. I did send something. And it odd feel a bit odd, so something wasn't quite right anyway. 
How does it feel, Excess? How does it feel to find out that you're <laughs> an artificial creation? <laughs> no need to answer. Your silence tells me all I wish to know. Considering that we have the same power that our reality counterpart, we could help him. I mean, two commanders of the crusade, who's going to stop that one? There's nothing wrong with having a bit of artificially created limbs. After all, this is a realm of gods anyway, so in a way everyone is artificially created by the will of the gods, so it gives it... <clears throat> what do your companions make of this? After all, they are an extension of your power. Entities born of the magic and memories of the commander. The assertion of my magical origin is debatable and requires immediate investigation. Hands in the right place, number of fingers corresponding to the norm, leg length is unchanged, no lice, ouch. Result, the assertion of my magical origin remains in dispute. How is this possible? But I haven't changed at all. I breathe, I live, I feel, I love. She raises her eyes to yours. I didn't understand anything you just said. How am I not myself? But I don't need to understand it. I trust you. You won't do anything bad to me. If we disregard the inappropriate soul searching, what this means is that Valmolo stripped the commander of the Fifth Crusade of a portion of his mythic power right before the final confrontation. I would like to speak to this inevitable. I'm always very pragmatic. Ask your questions, Excess. Let's chat a while. <laughs> it has been so long since we last talked to anyone. Our Protean servants aren't the best conversationalists. Explain to me again how I became this Excess. Don't skip over any details. Valmolos is a primordial inevitable. The guardian of magic. A mechanical eon created by the Axiomites of Axis. He only interferes in mortals' affairs when there is a magical threat against the world order. <laughs> and remarkably dull work it is, too. When the commander acquired mythic power in the Grey Garrison, old Valmolos began quaking in his boots. And as the commander developed his power, Valmolos's fear turned to outright panic. Just before the decisive battle between the commander and Aridu Vorlish, Valmolos finally decided to intervene. He carved up the commander's mythic power into the sanctioned portion and the excess. The former set off to face Orilu. But the latter. The second ended up here, embodied in the form of a magical golem along with its companions, who are essentially an extension of itself. Are you angry, Excess? We would be angry in your position. We would want to launch ourselves at Valmolos, rip his glowing heart from his chest, and squeeze it in our fist until it was extinguished. So that means Valmolos weakened the commander right before the final battle? That is precisely what it means. The cheek of him. And how do you know so much about me? This world is yours, created for you by access from your false memories. We have had time to study you. You might even say that we are your best friends now. I want to know more about you. We will satisfy your curiosity. Who are you? We are primordial Proteans, demigods of the Maelstrom, a plane on the edge of the universe. 
You could say that our power is comparable to that of the Demon Lords. We are Silmeshnik, the colorless lord, chaos, freedom, fate, paradox. These are our spheres of interest. We are welcome in the halls of Phrasma, and the Lady of Graves heeds our counsel when passing judgment on the souls of the dead. Are you mesmerized by our success? Not particularly. You speak in different voices, sometimes male, sometimes female. Are you ill? Are you not feeling well? Do you have a split personality? I know a good doctor that might be able to help you. Why choose a single gender when we can be one or the other whenever we please? Consistency is boring. Tell me about the milestone. It is chaos in its purest, most uncontrolled form. It is the ocean that washes against the shores of the other planes. It is infinite possibilities. It is both a cradle of creation and a force of entropy. The Maelstrom is my home. It is the womb that once gave birth to me. <laughs> Just imagine. <laughs> imagine living inside the womb that gave birth to you. <laughs> it will also become my tomb. What an interesting character and very well voiced. Um. Tell me about Axis. Axis is nothing but rules and laws that stifle free will. It is order that exists only for its own sake. It is an immovable rock blocking the path to inspiration. Axis is my enemy and my prison. I will claw at its walls, grind them to dust, to dirt, to ash! I will wipe it out of existence! Or it will do the same to me. Okay. That's a bit... Hmm, emotional. I've definitely heard enough. It has been a pleasure to speak common with someone. You deserve death. I have to go. <laughs> I have to go. Swarm mythic path. Set the swarm. Ooh, you are the first living creature I've encountered here. My swarm is hungry. <laughs> no. What do you want from me? We want to help you get out of here to restore cosmic justice. This is no way to treat living creatures, is it? Stealing their mythic power. Valmalos should be punished. <laughs> <laughs> Your fate does not worry us, Excess. Simply reach the door leading out of this prison, break it down, and go wherever you please. And we will be straight through that door after you. Uh, okay, 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 that's what he wants to do. He wants to, of course, he wants to use us to get free himself, because as he already said, he's trapped. But can we really unleash the primordial force of chaos onto reality? That sounds a bit dangerous. I mean, the equivalent of a demon lord rampaging through the realm of, well, existence, that's problematic. I mean, even demon lords have a bit of order. They um, cannot do whatever they want. They always have to think, oh, what will the higher heavens do? What will the other demon lords do? What will my servants do? So they are sort of limited. It reminds me a bit about the concept in Warcraft of Blizzard, um, where it is said that there must always be a Lich King, you know, the King of the Dead, because otherwise they would just rampage without any restrictions, without any order, without any control. Um, hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. The keystone of the prison has been smashed to pieces. This little world has cracked, and all it needs is one good gust of wind to bring it all tumbling down. You saw it yourself. Your mythic allies have appeared in the false threshold. Even those the commander never met in his timeline. Help topple this world, Exis. 
Talk to the creatures from your false memory. Pile even more paradoxes on top of their useless existence. Break them so that the world begins to consider them anomalies. We dispatched our Protean servants to seek out the other keystones of this world. I instructed them to destroy the stones to disrupt the Order of Axis. But it seems our servants are not strong enough. You must find the stones and destroy them. I will teach you how to see them. The haze momentarily descends over your vision. Okay, I, I didn't see anything. Failed. Uh, uh, what did you do to me? We gave you our gift, of course. Now you see what Proteans see. You can detect anomalies and find the keystones that hold this world together. You will like our gift. Will Proteans see me as an ally now? Hmm, unlikely. Proteans do not recognize alliances with other life forms. They rarely get along even with their own kind. We are a pleasant exception. How did you end up in this prison? Valmalos, that useless mound of metal, captured us in a moment of weakness decades ago. We despise him so. We will claw at his face. We will tear at him until he loses that air of arrogance. Why not hate him together? We are captives in this prison, just like you, Exes. Our cage is right next to yours. We cannot escape to the outside, but we were able to enter your world. Now we are tearing it apart, populating it with anomalies and creating paradoxes, so that you can get out and open the way for us as well. Do you need my help? If you open anomalies and create paradox, can't you escape on your own? Do you think we haven't tried? What do you think we've been doing all these years, Excess? We haven't even managed to find a keystone in our prison. The arrival of your world next to ours is the chance we've long been waiting for. What will happen to me uh, once I leave this prison? You will return to Threshold. To the moment when Valmalos divided you and the commander. You will merge with his mythic power and cease to exist. Isn't that what you want? But perhaps... Perhaps you do not want to cease to exist. You may have been created by magic, but you are a living thing. You feel the cold. You feel hunger. You feel pain when you're wounded. Lameshnik pauses and casts their gaze over you. When they speak, their voices are sly. We have the power to help you, Excess. We can see to it that when you rejoin the Commander, your consciousness will replace his. No one will notice the switch. Open the way out of Threshold. We will do this for you. Um, that sounds a bit dramatic and extreme. Um, should we do that? Mm, yeah, I'm not sure if I want that. Um, I want to the guide. What does it say? Secret ending. Agreeing to Valmanos' offer. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Okay. Um, chaos ending. Agreeing to plan. Ending okay. Nothing ending. Don't accept offer. Uh, paradox ending. You have to trigger several requirements, then kill. Mm -hmm. You know that you're on the right. Okay. Mm. Okay, yeah, we, we have to make a choice now. Now, there are several ways this can go. I mean, technically there are five endings, but we are not in a Zator or Demon, so we have four, as we already know. So there is a nothing ending. And um, a secret ending. So both the nothing and secret ending are the same. We kill both. We kill Valmanos and Silameshne. Um, but 
the secret ending if we have this perfectly balanced eight chaos, eight lawful or order uh, keystone thing. Um, there will be a secret ending. Mm, before fighting Valmanos, you need to choose the mythic path dialogue for attacking him. Then when the di when the ending dialogue is playing out, you will have a new dialogue option to escape your fate if you are on either the Chaos or Nothing ending route. Currently the Chaos ending takes precedence, so the only way to get these endings is if you are on the Nothing route. It's unclear whether this is intended or not. Mm -hmm. There's a bug. Is that still is that still the version I'm playing on? It says that there's no current way to currently go to law to nothing. It's only possible to go from chaos to paradox to nothing. Hmm. But you know what? I don't really want that. I also don't want the secret ending. Even though oddly enough it says kill Valmanos and maybe Silamela, but I don't want to kill both. Creating a paradox, learning the plan. Hmm. Side quests, I don't care. Ending. Hmm. hmm. Yeah, I'm not interested in that. So we're not going to do the secret ending. We're going to do the lawful ending. This Silamelec is just, I mean, we are an angel and all, so we're not going for the secret ending. And he will inevitably die. We're going to help Valmanos. Um, I, like, I mean, technically we're not an angel, we're just a port. We were a portion of the soul that was ripped apart from it. Still, I'll get out of this prison without your help. We don't care how you break out of here, Excess. But when you escape and break down that door to Galarian, we won't be far behind. Mm, yeah, I have to go. Go, Exis. We will meet again. <laughs> oh, okay, we, we can still do the rest. Oh, Threshold. Oh, that we can go back there. Okay. Yeah, but we're not going to do that now. We still have a lot to do in this area. Okay, perfect. So yeah, I decide we're not going to do the secret ending. It's just why I'm, I'm not going to kill both. It's just mm, no. Okay. 